My name is Dave Thielman. Uh, this is Bravocados Bistro. Uh, I started here as a chef in 2018 and last off season I took over the restaurant from the owner. So this is my second year as chef and owner of Bravocados. We used a sea brine and a Caesar drink for the cookbook, but today I'm gonna show you a couple other things you can do with the sea brine as well that were mentioned in the cookbook for uh, king oyster mushroom scallops and a mushroom calamari as well. So some extra bonus recipes. So for the mushroom scallops that we're about to demo today, I just took our regular sea brine recipe. I added a little bit of sugar to it, a little bit of extra lemon and just a drop of liquid smoke to give it a little bit of a meaty kind of umami background and scallops kind of have a natural sweet flavor, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar to the recipe to try to mimic that flavor in the mushrooms. So that's a good example of how you can take a base recipe and just adjust it as you want or as what you're going for. Just think about what something will taste like, what the flavor profiles are, and play around with it until you get the right variation. I was actually really proud to be in the Island Eats uh, cookbook. Um, only have been in Tofino for a few years and being the vegan, the only vegan restaurant, sometimes we can feel like we're a little bit of the odd one out just because of the sort of separation between vegan and most other restaurants that are, you know, more omnivorous. Uh, it was nice to be highlighted in that way so we could showcase that it can be for everyone and that was another reason why I picked those recipes because it's something that you don't have to be vegan to enjoy waffles or a Caesar so I wanted to be inclusive because that's something that I've always been very conscious of at Bravocados to be not just too niche and all raw vegan kale quinoa only so we do a lot more kind of comfort food and a little bit of something for everyone here there are healthy items so there are also some glut uh, some very uh, gluttonous ones as well I love being on the west coast just like I'm sure everyone else will say like the raw natural beauty of Tofino is unmatched in BC and maybe around the world um, even just like having vegan options, but we'll use local mushrooms. We'll get kelp from the fr local suppliers as well. So even in a vegan seafood dish, we're still using local seafood ingredients that are natural to Tofino shores. So it's really nice to be able to harvest things like mushrooms and kelp and use those in a lot of our recipes that keep us local and uh, gives us kind of a Tofino flair as well.